Hey guys, welcome back to Double K. Today I'll be showing you some common mistakes that you can make while using the ball. So let's go. The first mistake you can make with the ball is with how you hold it. Often the ball is pressed towards the wrist for stronger support, but this is incorrect. To hold the ball correctly, your fingers must be relaxed and the ball should be quite stable on the hand from its positioning alone. Another common mistake is when you hold the ball out flat, but your fingers dig into it for support to make it easier. Keep in mind that there is enough support from a gentle placement, and therefore there is no need to grip the ball. Another common mistake is having bent arms, whether that be when you are simply holding the ball or completing something with it such as a roll, your arm should always be extended. The next common mistake has to do with the way you catch the ball. Often, as the ball falls into your hand, you impulsively bend it, but this makes it much harder to catch the ball. So instead, try to absorb the ball as it comes down with an extended arm. Another common mistake when catching is pulling the ball towards your body to make it easier to catch. This makes it look much messier and prevents it from being credited as a proper catch. So always make sure that you are catching away from your body. The next mistake you can make when catching is catching with two hands. This is most common when first learning how to throw and when trying out complicated risks. It is always important to work towards catching with one hand as it helps make transition smoother and the catch look more clean. The final mistake you can make when catching is using your wrist as support when grabbing onto the ball. To avoid this mistake, it is important to absorb the ball into your hand as it comes down keeping the flow and allowing the ball to sink smoothly into your hand. The next common mistake has to do with ball rolls. When doing rolls across the arms, it is important to keep the arms out to as close to 180 degrees as possible. Although this is more challenging, it is the correct way to complete the roll. The next mistake is completing the roll but with bent arms. This prevents the ball from completing a smooth roll and increases the chances of the ball bouncing up and off your arms. Therefore, it is extremely important to keep your arms extended at all times. It is also important to keep your arms stretched while doing axis spins with the ball over your hand, as it is not only easier but looks a lot more clean. The next set of common mistakes occur when doing apparatus difficulties. The first is when you let the ball bounce before you catch it in your legs. It is extremely important to catch the ball directly in your legs in order for the AD to be counted. The next mistake is for any AD where you catch the apparatus straight into the next movement, in this case a backwards roll. When doing this it is important not to pause in between movements but start the movement as you are catching the ball, as if you wait in between, the difficulty will not be counted. As you can see here, as the ball is caught there is a distinct pause before the cartwheel starts, demonstrating a break in motion. In this case however, the catching of the ball leads smoothly into the cartwheel right away. The next mistake has to do with bouncing. When bouncing the ball off two hands, it is important to keep your hands completely flat as having one arm raised slightly higher than the other will make the ball fly off to the side instead of upwards. As you can see here, when the hands are completely flat, the ball flies upwards. And the final set of mistakes is for circumductions. When doing circumductions with the ball, it is extremely important to keep your arm straight. Although it is easier to hold the ball with a bent arm, it stops you from properly completing the motion. So when doing circumductions, always make sure to keep your arm completely straight as it comes around. Thank you for watching this week's video. If you'd like to leave a like and subscribe to our channel.